Millions of years ago, the land upon which Robin Hood Bay is situated was once a deep sea. The sea animals of the time, buried in the mud, became fossilised, providing one of the best sources in Britain for the fossil hunter. Some of these fossils can still be seen on display in the museum and can still be picked up on the beach if you look very carefully. Robin Hood's Bay lies in the ancient parish of Filingdale, the first evidence of man in the area was 3,000 years ago, when Bronze Age burial grounds were dug up on the high moorland, about a mile or so south of the village. These are known as Robin Hood's Butts. Some 15,000 years later, Roman soldiers had a stone signal tower built at Ravenscar. About the 4th century AD, the first regular settlers, however, were probably Saxon peasants, followed by the Norsemen. The main colonists of the coast were Norwegians, who were probably attracted by the rich glacial soil and ample fish. It appears that in the 16th century, Robin Hood's Bay was far more important than Whitby. In a series of Dutch sea charts published in 1586, Robin Hood's Bay is indicated while Whitby is not even mentioned. What is more certain in the 18th century? Robin Hood's Bay was reportedly the busiest smuggling community on the Yorkshire coast. Its natural location, protected by marshy moorland on three sides, offered a natural aid to this well-organised business, which despite its dangers, must have paid better than fishing. Smuggling at sea was backed up by the many on land, who were willing to finance and transport contraband Fisher folk, farmers, clergy and gentry alike were all involved. Fierce battles ensued between smugglers and excisemen, both at sea and on land. And bay wives were known to pour boiling water over excisemen from bedroom windows in the narrow alleyways. 